I know he's going to counter me, um, but uh, I'm ready on that. We work on that in this training camp, and my, my, my focus is to be aggressive, and then wherever he goes, I, I will go. Freddie Roach told us that he doesn't ever think that there has been someone who is the president of a country and also a prize fighter. Could that be in your future? Um, <laughs> right now. Put you under the gun. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Right now, I'm, uh, I'm so focused on my fight as a boxing career, uh, in, uh, as a public servant, as a senator. That's my focus. But thinking to uh, uh, to run is on uh, the higher level of a uh, position. Uh, I'm not thinking right now. Can I make a suggestion? What is that? I know that the law in America, you have to be born in America to be president. But can you run for president of America? <laughs> <laughs> He's a former world champion. Um, he's, he moved fast, but uh, you cannot underestimate. I mean, uh, he he threw punches, so <laughs> you cannot underestimate him. That uh, he's this is an easy opponent, or think about that this is an easy fight. They they asked me about why Adrian Brunner, and I told them it's just a coincidence mm -hmm. that the Brunner is this, the same style of my opponent in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Final, final few moments. <laughs> with the Spoken eight. like a true politician. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to you. We welcome you to the David Copperfield Theater here at the beautiful MGM Grand in Las Vegas. This is the final press conference for Pacquiao versus Broner taking place this coming Saturday, January the 19th at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. First, we present the challenger, Adrian the Problem Broner. What's good, y'all? I really ain't up here to talk a lot of shit, man. I, I put in the work. You know, it's fight time. We gonna have a hell of a fight. I train my ass off. I play a lot, but when that bell ring, though, I'm gonna be ready, you know? I ain't coming in and lose. I ain't coming to lay down, man. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent from Sarangani province in the Philippines. I'm so thankful to God that uh, at age of 40, I'm still here and keep on fighting. Uh, that's the evidence of uh, uh, being passionate of these sports. Thank you so much and have a good day. And at this time, uh, my pleasure to pass the microphone on to a gentleman to conduct a question and answer session. Boxing Hall of Fame analyst for Showtime Sports, the respected voice of boxing, Al Bernstein. Thank you very, very much. Adrian, you uh, mentioned to some of the press that you, you see this fight as turning the page. Explain a little bit on how it is turning the page for you. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I don't fuck with you, bro. I don't fuck with you. You, you be talking too much shit about me on Twitter, bro. And um, I'm gonna let you get it. And, and I'm just being real, bro. Like, I just already feel like you against me. So, so I'm not against anybody, but this, this isn't about me, it's about you. I'd rather Roy Jones or, or Stephen A. Smith ask me some questions. I don't fuck with you. Okay, that's fine. So Adrian Broner's not going to answer any more questions. It's not about me, it's about the fighters. So what do you say we have them uh, do a face-off for you? Let's get that going, and that'll end the festivities. <laughs> I see everything, man. I see everything. All you motherfuckers. How, how much do you read? All you motherfuckers. I read a lot, and I can read. Who would want to pull some shit out? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I host the International Boxing Hall of Fame in Canastota each year, and each year I get asked, when will Manny be in there? It takes five years after you retire. So what are we looking at in terms of your induction into the International Boxing Hall of Fame? How many years will it be? A couple more years. Uh, I can still... Uh, Based on my condition right now, my, my body condition, is, I can still fight uh, two to three more years. Don't you feel a little bit like this fight is kind of like Back to the Future, going back to MGM, doing like your, your old routine? Do you, do you feel like you'd like to recapture, you know, how good you were at your peak in this fight because of that? It's kind of a challenge to me because this is my first fight at the age of 40, and it's kind of, uh, I have something to prove at the age of 40. 
I don't move like uh, 40 years old. I don't uh, work like 40 years old. I move. I, I work like like 25 years old, 26 years old. Wherever he goes, I, I will go. <laughs> Are you gonna stick to him? Is that the plan? <laughs> so you're gonna follow him to the strip club tonight? <laughs> <laughs> In the ring. <laughs> In the four corners of ring. <laughs> Uh, Manny said yesterday you're the seventh or eighth best fighter and he's under five. What, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, shit, I don't care about none of that. Um, he ain't never fought me. I know you fought a lot of great fighters, but is it cool? I, not that you're not that you're in awe or anything, but you're fighting a legend in Manny Pacquiao. Does that mean a lot to you? I hope it be all to him that he's fighting Adrian Broner. Shit, I'm one of a kind too now. Four-time world champion in four different weight classes. I think I'm the only African American that did that. Do you think you need a win this Saturday to be a legend too? Uh, I'm already a legend where I'm from. Uh, uh, where I'm from, they don't got nothing. Never had nothing. And ain't gonna get nothing.